Hi, everybody. We're back, and we've missed you. Ow. Already. I just opened the door to go outside, and the screen poked me. Is this going to be a day like this? Well, you may or may not saw our, my sister's wedding video, which was, it was a lot of fun to go out there. And uh, that's where I grew up, Santa Cruz, California. And I just, I love going back there and visiting. And, and my dad lives there, my sister lives there. And it's just, uh, it's awesome to go see the family. But now we come back and I'll tell you, like this has been the such a long, long, long build that, um, you know, taking a, a two week break from building the bus has been like you lose your mojo a little bit it's so good to be back in the bus but now we have some big jobs to get down to business on this will be by far the biggest fabrication on the bus it's just big so mike's going to be getting ready for building the roof rack and i'm going to be getting ready to take the next step in the shower but that's a whole story I guess I should probably tell you about. But there's some things we got to do to get started. And that is we have to clean the garage finally. And so to be transparent, I'm going to show you this monstrous mess. <laughs> From the very first bus build I ever saw, which was Expedition Happiness, um, they did an all-in-one bathroom that was completely tiled with these beautiful, deep, rich, green ceramic handmade tiles. And I love that idea. I love the look of and the idea of just completely tiling the whole bathroom. And that was our plan, was to have an all-in-one bathroom, or wet bathroom, as they call it, with the toilet in the same space as the shower. So it made complete sense to just tile the entire bathroom. But then at some point I saw this really cool chick do a broken tile shower, which was awesome. So as you can see, we have our work cut out for us. Um, this is from me being lazy and just cutting wood and throw it on the floor or not sweeping. So that is where my idea was born that instead of just doing a white tile shower that I would love to use all recycled materials and do um, I don't know a, like a mosaic in a broken tile shower and somewhere along the way this idea blossomed to make an ocean mosaic so the bottom half would be this ocean water and then the top half would be the sky around you. But today, it just has to get done so we can uh, do the welding. I have to do the welding in here because I'm using uh, uh, a CO2 argon mix on the welder. And it has to be, um, you, don't, you don't want any breeze blowing by because then it blows the shielding gas out of the way and uh, messes up your welds. And so, if we can clear off a space over here to work in big enough to uh, accept the size of these things that we're going to be building and you're going to be blown away, then um, I'll be able to weld uh, safely and uh, with really clean welds over here and be able to uh, make something that's structurally sound. And then it's pleasing to look at so you don't see these like horrible welds in there. And then I don't have to spend hours grinding because that's not my favorite thing to do. So that's what we're doing. So that's when I started shopping for ceramic tile at the Habitat for Humanity Restore and yard sales, like every place I could possibly imagine. I started shopping for colored tile to make this picture I was envisioning. And let me tell you something, <laughs> ceramic tile is out of date and nobody has it anymore. And even when you shop at the Restore and thrift stores and places like that, 
the only tile you find is usually stone tile, like in shades of brown, which wouldn't be a very fun ocean mosaic. So at some point I realized I was just gonna have to be more flexible and uh, change my plans. <laughs> point I decided to start practicing grouting so that I would be experienced at it by the time it came time to grout our shower so I started working on projects that I had seen online and I was very inspired let me just show you we need to do some very accurate measurements up here today so that we can uh, prepare for this next project and uh, accommodate some of the things in the way that uh, could pose a problem for us. Well, that was day two of our garage cleaning efforts and I've made zero progress because I only did it for like an hour yesterday because I'm lazy. But we did get the table pretty well cleaned up, which is really nice. And, um, oh, mosquito. Um, I'm quite a bit more motivated. So in this last, since I came back from California, I have almost been at work the entire time. I took, I work uh, a Kelly schedule with my company. So I work uh, uh, day on, day off, day on, day off, day on and then I get four days off and that rotates. And that's kind of why sometimes our videos aren't that uh, forthcoming because the way the schedule it kind of revolves around to the point where my day off is like starts on Monday and or Tuesday or something and we have to visit video out by Thursday and I haven't done any work. But on this last tour in particular, I worked a 24 and then two 36s hours and I was just beat down. So my first day off was just, I just needed to stop and rest a little bit because it was brutal. We actually had a tornado. This lens is dirty. We actually had a tornado in Wilcox, Arizona, which is this uh, small town that I'm stationed in that's about 30 miles from here, and which is extraordinarily rare and actually caused some damage. And that was just this a major amount of not sleeping for me and still working an extremely long shift. So anyway, uh, today I feel motivated and I'll clean for another hour. Okay, you guys, so in the spirit of being transparent, I have to tell you what happened yesterday while Mike and I were each filming our separate parts so we could try to get a video out in time. We each had our own GoPro and I was filming and telling my whole story and every time I was clicking the button to record and stop recording, I was clicking them backwards the whole time time which is ridiculous because it makes a completely different beeping sound whether you're starting or stopping but like it wasn't registering in my brain so I kept pressing the button and talking to the camera and showing what I was talking about and nothing was being recorded when I sat down to edit this video all I had were a bunch of clips of the floor and my armpit <laughs> and there were no clips of me telling my story so Here's what I was trying to say, is that in order to practice my grouting to get ready for doing a broken tile mosaic shower, I started doing broken cup mosaics, which I just learned about from stumbling across them online, but I thought it was a perfect way to practice. So these are the things I've been making. Big is this deck going to be? 
feet. Yay, the last one. Oh. Nice. So as I was looking online to start learning about how to do tiling and grouting, I started seeing these really cute projects that are broken mug mosaics or broken teacup mosaics because they're, they're totally grouted. They're completely waterproof. So you can actually grow live plants as a little planter in your kitchen. And you can see by the rest of what used to be my dining room table that I have become completely addicted. So if you don't remember, the video where we made the uh, supports for the deck, I'll put the link right here, right here. And uh, it'll show you what we did. All these, all these deck supports right here, we put up last summer and in anticipation for this day. And if you notice, if you haven't guessed yet, they go from right there all the way to the front of the bus. That's right, we're having a 40 foot deck on this behemoth. The area back here is our, our solar panels are going here. And then the rest of the deck right here will be where we hang out and stuff. Right now I'm up here because I need to actually measure across uh, these. Three and a half. 93 and a half. It's slippery up here, man. I'm gonna die. So 93 and a half is like seven foot two inches. So now we have to build a jig so we can build these, these deck frames. So let me explain what we're doing before we get uh, too far into this. The bus is 40 feet long-ish. We need to build a 40 foot deck. We're doing the big one. And in order to make this work right, and to make it possible, I'm not gonna be able to get a crane out here to lift a 40 foot deck up here. So the only way we're gonna be able to get this on here is we need to be able to uh, build it in modular. So we're gonna build four pieces, 10 foot pieces, 10 foot by 93 and a half inches to be exact. And um, we'll be able to lift them into place. We've already pre-drilled all of our supports. So the idea is to get it up here clamp it to the supports where um, in a known location um, so there it's level on the supports and then once it's clamped we can drill it through the existing support holes drill it out drop bolts into it and then move on to the next one and they'll be bolted to the each unit will be bolted together as well as bolted to the supports um, the things that we have to watch out for though is that we have obstacles like this right here that we have to build around um, so that the uh, uh, the deck is, uh, there's a cutout for this so we can still open this thing and such. So we need to go to Ace Hardware. We need to get some lumber to build the jig to help me build these 10 foot, uh, 10 by seven foot, two inch uh, Modular deck pieces, we'll call them that. Modular deck pieces. And here's another little teacup planter I've made. But what I realized from working on these projects was that dishes are even a higher quality ceramic than ceramic bathroom tiles. My thoughts were if I could use dishes and grout to make a completely waterproof planter, why can't I use dishes and grout in my shower? because dishes come in all the colors I've been looking for to make my mosaic. Okay, first thing first, we gotta cut this at one and a half feet. I'm making a pedestal with four tall corners to hold the metal so that the floor is not level. So I need to make a very, very level surface for everything and it just needs to be level in the corners. So we're gonna level the corners.
So the long story short, I guess, is that I have been buying dishes, stacks and stacks of dishes, and breaking them into pieces, and filling Ziploc bags with the broken pieces. All right, what you're seeing behind me here is the frame uh, jig that I've built to uh, lay the metal onto so I can weld it in place. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a laser level and hit each one of these uh, posts from here. And so I create a, uh, it's an auto leveling laser level and it'll cast a line over all these things. I can mark them, cut them, put them back in the same spot. And then there'll be, uh, this will be a level service regardless of the floor. And that way when I put it up there, I'm not having to twist things into place. And then I made a pattern for my mosaic by measuring all of the shower walls and cutting those pieces out of a giant roll of brown paper. So I made a piece that was the exact size and dimensions of each shower wall and I laid the whole thing out on the floor of our back bedroom. I had to get rid of the bed and <laughs> get rid of the furniture and I'm telling you making mosaics has taken over my entire life and this is where we're at so far. This is my broken dish fish mosaic. <laughs> And I have to be honest, when I had the idea of making a mosaic, it did not include any marine life whatsoever because then my artistic ability wouldn't be really challenged as long as I didn't have to make fish and complicated things like that. So it was just going to be just shades of blue and aquamarine water and then shades of sky. But as I was running out of blues and greens in plates, I started thinking I needed to add some more interesting things into the mosaic so that I could use other colors of dishes. So this is my high speed laser level. And as you can see, it's casting a laser line for us. Go over here so you can see it all. We got laser line, laser line. Over here is the actual center one. And then one more on here. So that's gonna give me the uh, cut line I need so I can uh, create this extremely level, extremely level surface. So now you can actually see the line right at the very top edge of this. That means that we're gonna be level enough when we uh, put our wood down on top of this. I think I'm just gonna cut everything. Cut everything to size, what I need, and then start putting it together. First, we need to do some measuring of the bus though. And the next step I have to do right now is to start taping the pieces together um, in order to put them into the grout. And you'll see this process as we get to that point but um, you'll get an idea from looking at the turtle. You can probably see from here how the whole turtle is taped together on the front side with just clear contact paper so that when it comes time, and I'll be putting clear contact paper over every single piece in sections probably I don't know, like I'm gonna aim for 12 inch by 12 inch squares, which is how you would buy mosaic tile in a hardware store. So um, I'll just cut the contact paper into squares, stick it down kind of probably overlapping and then cut it into pieces from there and be able to recreate the whole picture on the bathroom walls, um, like one section at a time. So that's my huge crazy project you guys and I do not know if it's even gonna work but You'll get to follow me along the way and find out whether it does and if it does work You guys if it does work, it's gonna be like the most cost-effective tiled shower ever Because have you ever priced tile before? Holy cow. I kept wondering why 
everybody doing a bus build was just tiling their shower in white subway tile. And I was like, why are people so obsessed with white? Like, is it like a cleanliness thing to have white tile on your shower so you know it's clean? Then when I went to the stores and started pricing tile, I started understanding, oh, it's more of a budget thing. Like tile is not cheap. And the more shower space you have, it's gonna cost to tile it all. Like if you're doing an entire wet bath, that adds up pretty fast. So um, I thought this would be <laughs> way too much to do with plates, but once I started, I couldn't turn back. So this is what it is, so far anyway. I guess you'll get to watch and see if my project works or not or if I end up just completely ashamed and embarrassed in the end.